been asked by the foundation for the future gingerbreaders of tomorrow to let you know that gingerbread is trending stronger than ever. <laughs> but don't just take my word for it. See for yourselves with my I'm with gingerbread hat. <laughs> Paid for by the foundation for the future gingerbreaders of tomorrow. I hear many people complain about how their traditional gingerbread houses get stale and you don't get a chance to enjoy them. Well, I say, put your stale up for sale and make my mini gingerbreadian homes instead. For this, you'll need sprinkles, shredded coconut, gingerbread cookie dough, flour, a Ziploc bag, scissors, a knife, a rolling pin, parchment paper, a baking sheet, and a template. First, you flour out your surface. Roll out your gingerbread dough. When your little brother annoys you, you can punch this dough instead. Oh. If your dough falls apart, just squish it into a ball and start over. Now use your template to cut out two wall pieces, two roof pieces, and two door pieces like this. There's a link for the template in the description box below. Transfer them to your parchment paper lines baking sheet. Bake according to your package instructions. Once your gingerbread pieces have cooled, thanks gingerbread fairy. Melt your candy melt. Put them in your Ziploc bag and cut off the tip. Attach a wall piece to one door piece with your candy melts like this. Now attach the second wall the same way. Then attach your other door piece. Once those have hardened, Attach both of your roof pieces. Use your candy melts to cover the edges like this. Now for the finishing touches. Outline it with your candy melts like this. Then attach shredded coconut on the roof to look like snow. Then decorate however you want. you can't see yourself having a hot cup of cocoa next to this mini mansion. <sighs> Oops. We're not responsible for hot cocoa damage. Gingerbread is the perfect gift for the holidays. In fact, it's the gift that keeps on giving, especially when you put that gift in the gingerbread. So let's make my delish gift boxes. Ooh. For this you'll need candy melt, gingerbread cookie dough, two square cookie cutters, one slightly larger, flour, a Ziploc bag, scissors, a knife, a rolling pin, a spatula, parchment paper, and a baking sheet. Flour your surface. Roll out your gingerbread dough. Use the larger square cookie cutter to make two of these. Now use the smaller one to cut four pieces. Then use your knife to cut out a small square. This one's for the top. The small square doesn't have to be perfect. Bake according to your package instructions. Melt your candy melts, put them into your Ziploc bag, and cut off the tip like this. Lay one of your large gingerbread pieces flat. Then attach it to the other like this. Now do the same with three remaining pieces until they are all connected.
While that hardens, take your smallest square and attach it to your largest one with some candy melts like this. For me, you shouldn't have. Gingerbread inside the gingerbread? It's so simple. Yeah! While gingerbread is sturdy and reliable, gingerbread is also know how to let loose and have fun. So let's take my gingerbread buddy out of the house and onto the slopes with my super ski buddy. For this you'll need white candy melts, chocolate chips, mini chocolate chips, a gingerbread cookie, candy canes, a Ziploc bag, and some clothespins. Put your candy melts in your hacked pastry bag. Apply some candy melts on the cookie's face like this. Then put a mini chocolate chip on top. Then two regular chocolate chips for eyes. While those harden, take your candy canes and break off about one inch. These will be the skis. Use a candy cane to make holes in the feet like this. Clip your candy canes in place. Apply some candy melts like this. Now slide your gingerbreader into place and use candy melts to secure her. Hold her in place for a while until it hardens. Looks like my ski buddy is ready to glide. She probably doesn't realize that the bottom of the mountain is in my mouth. No way, Jose! Yeah! My fellow food hackers, the future smells sweet. And that's because it smells like gingerbread. Ah, <sighs> oh, delicious. Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and let me know in the comments below what your favorite gingerbread hack is. Go on, tell me. Don't be shy. Paid for by the Foundation for the Future Gingerbreaders of Tomorrow.